Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds. Today I'll be showing you how to drill 316 stainless steel. So let's get started. Okay, so here's our part. It has some holes in it that need to be drilled. So, our first step is to create some wireframe. So, we go to our levels tab, type in two, and then type in wireframe below it, and that creates a new level. Next, we'll select that solid by just dragging over it. We'll go over to curve all edges and hit the check mark. Just like that, it creates wireframe on all the edges. Then we go over to Select All Wireframe, right click, change level, deselect use active level, and type in 2. And just like that, it goes into our wireframe level. So now we have wireframe to work with, which is always a little bit easier to work with uh, when you have a simple part like this. You can also use solids, but wireframe is a little bit easier to work with when you're just doing something simple. So we got our wireframe. Now we need to create a plane. So we'll duplicate the top plane. We'll rename it. Drill. Op1. You can rename it whatever you like. Now we need to edit our work coordinate system. We need to drag it to whatever corner we want to touch off. We'll touch off the left corner for this one. So, we got a wireframe, we got a work coordinate system. Now, it is time to drill the part. We go to Toolpaths, Create New, and now we're going to go to Drill. Okay. We'll keep that. What we want to do first is measure the drilled hole looks like we're at about three quarters of an inch so three quarter inch drill will work great so we go to tool select library tool find the drill okay we found our drills hit the check mark now, we accidentally select the wrong drill here, but we go back and fix it. What do we click on? We click on 3 8 drill. But a couple of minutes, I'll show you how to fix it. Anyways, we make it tool 1, go to easyspeedsandfeeds.com. We have 316 stainless steel. Type in our diameter 0 0.375. Surface speed 45. RPM 458. Cutting feed. We'll go about 3 thou. That gives us a feed rate of 1 inch per minute. So Go back to master cam, type in our speeds and feeds. As for our depth, we can actually just select it, which is always easy. But first we should just select that middle hole. 
Okay, there we go. That looks good. Now for our depth. We'll click on the bottom. And we want to go through a little bit. So we'll go minus 1.1 1 .1 inches. 1.2 inches. Since our block is about an inch thick. Turn our clearance to about one inch, make everything absolute. Cut parameters, we're going to turn on peck drilling. We'll peck it about 25 thou. You always want to peck when you're using uh, high speed steel. Some carbide tools can um, just do a drill counterbore cycle, but with high speed steel, you always want to peck. Now at this point we realize that we selected the wrong drill, so but the cycle is good, it's just the diameter is wrong. So we go back into parameters, go to tool. First we double check the whole size by clicking on dynamic, then clicking on that top hole. We're looking at three quarters of an inch, 0 0.7448. So a 0 0.750 drill will, will work. So we go to edit tool. We could have selected a new one or we could just edit this one. So I'll show you guys just how to edit a tool real quick. Drill diameter. We change that first. Overall length, cutting length, tip angle. Shank diameter, three quarters of an inch. Cut length, looks about right. Overall length, probably around four inches. That looks a little more like what we got. Next, tool number one. Speeds and feeds, we can put them in here or in the next box. So. We have to do different speeds and feeds because it's a different drill diameter. So 0 0.75, 45 surface feet, 229 RPM. Cutting feet is also different. It's a larger drill. So we can go about 6 thou. So feed rate this is the same, 1 inch per minute. RPM 229. change all these double check and double check everything on this page we don't have to mess with the number of flutes can change the name to three quarter inch drill, three quarter inch high speed steel drill, HSS for short. Hit finish. It looks like it did not take our speeds and feeds we wanted, so just double check. Yeah, 229 RPM, so. We'll change that. Feed rate, that looks good. Cut parameters, 25,000 pecs. It's looking good. Linking, 1.2 inches. So, we'll back plot this drill and check it out. That's looking good. Looks like the correct drill size and looks like it's pec drilling. 25,000 pecs. That'll work. You could go larger pecs, but you have to keep in mind this is high speed steel drilling into 316 stainless steel. So, the deeper your pecs, like if we did a 100 thou pec, that would really put some wear on the tool. So, you have to go pretty easy with the harder materials. So,
Next, we want to drill out those other two holes. We'll measure these holes. 0 0.4889. Okay. You can click on that drill cycle, copy and paste it. We can go in there, change our geometry, delete that, select that right there, hit the check mark. That's step one. Step two, change the drill. Find our drill closest to that diameter. That's within 4,000, so I think that'll work. All right, we'll make that tool two. Next, we go to easyspeedsandfeeds.com for some high speed steel speeds and feeds for a drilling 316 stainless steel looks like we're going to get 355 rpm and 2 inches a minute peck drill 25,000 that looks good linking that looks good. Go minus 1.2 because we want to go all the way through. Coolant on. We'll hit the check mark. Regen it. Backplot it. Let's check it out. That's looking good. Looks like we selected the right drill size this time, so we don't have to go back and change anything. Two holes down, one to go. So we're going to check this hole size. 0 0.3547. So, drill this hole. Select the center, go to tool, select library tool, so that one's within about 5 thou, make it tool 3. Back to easyspeedsandfeeds.com. This is important. You don't want to use the wrong speeds and feeds, otherwise, you will break your tool or you will damage your part. So, always, always use something for your speeds and feeds, either this website or your tool manufacturer's website. Usually, they have pretty good speeds and feeds there, too. So, there's two options right there. 486 RPM, 2 inches a minute. Linking parameters. Go minus 1.2, go all the way through the part. All right. We'll backplot that one, double check everything looks good. Looks pretty similar to other ones, just different drill size, different location. Yep, that's looking good. Of course, we're not showing in this video, but you definitely want to spot drill these holes, the carbide spot drill. But this is just a high speed steel uh, video. So keep in mind, you always want to spot drill before you drill. Next, we're going to verify. Check out what's happening. That does not look right, so we need to exit out of that. 
go to levels go to properties set up stock we're gonna set up our stock here we'll click on all solids that's kind of a shortcut to set up stock click the check mark now we'll go back to verify there we go so that's a nice little uh, easy way to set up some simple stock is just click on all solids doesn't always work because you could be milling around the outside of the part and there is no stock on the outside of the part so that wouldn't work but for something like this it works great when you're just maybe taking some material out of the middle of the part So that's looking good. That looks really good. Okay, so that was a little video on how to drill 316 stainless steel using high speed steel drills. I uh, hope you guys liked it. We'll be uh, coming out with some more videos. So stay on the lookout, subscribe, and we'll catch you later. Thanks.